Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, we're going to explore one of the latest functions of Excel, and that is the VStack function. So the VStack function works like a consolidator of your data in your worksheet. So for example, here, I have three tabs, April, May, and June, and I want to consolidate them in this worksheet. I'm going to put the date and amount. So I want to put all those data from the three tabs okay, in this worksheet. So in this video, I'm going to share with you different ways that you can use the VStack function. The most common one would be to highlight the cells individually from each of the worksheet. Next would be, I'm going to show you how to use 3D arrays or 3D formulas eh, together with VStack. And finally, how you're going to eliminate rows that you do not want in uh, coming from the VStack result. So to demonstrate the basic uh, VStack function, we start with equals in this uh, consolidator worksheet, and then we type the function VStack, and then open parentheses, and then we're going to highlight the values from the first array. So that would be these cells over here. And then we're going to hit comma and go to the next tab to highlight the cells from the that tab, comma, and then go to the next tab and pick up the data from that tab as well. So I just highlighted the cells from each of the worksheets and now hit close parentheses. If I hit enter, then I will get a consolidated version of the data and to show you from the dates, I would format this as date because as just like any other formulas, the VStack function will not pick up any format okay, from the cells okay, that it got the data from. So I'm going to use short date and you will see that I have the data from the three months of my worksheet. Take note that if you did any changes in the original data, so for example, I'm going to change this to 999, then your result in the VStack will also work. However, if I added more, another data here, say 888, then this version of the VStack uh, problem will not pick that up because if you remember, we highlighted very specific cells okay, in the formula. Of course, you can simply update this and you will get okay, the answer, say, oops, this one, and you will now get okay, more Okay, cells, okay, the new ones. Now, take note that if you're thinking like, what if I want to just highlight the blank cells, okay, include blank cells so that if I add more data, then that will be included in the VStack result. So let's say instead of just until B11 for the April worksheet, I'm going to include until B14. And the thing is, if that is the case, then you will see that they're actually reflecting here, okay, as zero. So we have your zero, and here we have a date formatted cell for zero, which is January 0, 1900. So what if I want to eradicate this, okay, from the table so that they don't show up? So that's what we're going to do. So VStack function cannot remove elements on its own. So what we can do is we're going to use the filter function. So the filter function will sort of like filter out only the data okay, that you need. So just to show you how the filter function works on its own. So let's say I'm going to filter in this uh, worksheet, this table, this array, and I want to make sure that only those in this range that are greater than 1,500 will be included. So we're filtering the data from A2 to B11, and the filter is to include okay, only rows wherein B2 to B11 is greater than 1,500. So the filter function will recreate the table, but only those whose amounts are more than 1,500, because that is the inclusion or the filter that I added in my filter formula. So we're going to exploit this feature of the filter function in order to remove those values that we do not want okay, in the result of the VStack formula. So we're going to use filter at the beginning 
Okay. And then at the uh, first part, we're going to just keep it as, as, uh, as it is. So this is going to be the array that the filter function will work on. But we're going to copy that. And then we're going to create the condition or the rule as which values should filter include. So I'm going to paste okay, the formula vstack that I copied from the left side. And I'm going to limit it only to the first column. So it has to be column A only. So it cannot really filter to columns at a time. So I have to ensure that I'm only stacking data from column A across my worksheets. So I changed all B columns into A. And I'm going to complete the filter or the criterion. And then I would say here it has to be greater than zero. So now I'm going to close okay, this and hit enter. And you will see that we've already eliminated okay, the values that are zero in the uh, worksheet. So now you can be confident and just, you know, sort of like put up to 1000 if you want here and then also here. So that your worksheet can be updated and you don't have to worry about the VSTAC result because it's always going to remove the zero values anyway. So I'm now having here up to 1000 rows. Hit enter, I still get the same result. So if I add a new value, or let's say May, let's say I have May 14th with a 6677, uh, just for example. And if I go to this worksheet, and I'm getting that as well here. So there's how we can combine the filter function and the VStack function to consolidate data and sort of like have a uh, have cells that are just waiting to be filled out and the VStack function will always keep them without showing zeros in the result of VStack. So there's actually another way to solve this. Okay, so instead of creating a new video, I'll just put this as well in this one because this is quite a long formula that we have here. So another solution would be to use 3D formulas. So here's how 3D formulas work. So I'm going to say VStack and then I'm going to say to stack the cells from the April worksheet until the June worksheet, specifically from A2 until B1000. So the VStack function will understand 3D references. So if you're not familiar with this, this is actually not a common one. 3D references pertain to worksheets, April to June. So this the colon here signifies the range of April worksheet until the June worksheet, and then hit enter. And you will see that it managed to pick up data from the different worksheets, but we still have those zeros, okay, because it picks up okay, data okay, that is blank. So we're also going to apply the same solution that we have. So we're going to copy this and then put the filter function at the beginning. This will serve as the array of the filter function. And then we're going to create the include argument or technically the filter. Make sure to only limit it to one column because filters will only work in one column. So I'm going to update this uh, inclusion here to just column A, and I would complete it with a greater than zero and then enter. So now I have a shorter version of this, okay? And same result as what we have, I have to format it as well. Okay, same result as what we have here on the left side. So this one is a 3D approach, much shorter than the manual approach and easier to make, and that's it. And I hope that helped you somehow. And I hope you learned more about the VStack function okay, and how to use it in several ways. If this video helped you in some point or at some point, uh, we would appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. And if ever you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And I will try my best to answer as soon as I can or even maybe create a video resolution for you. But for now, this is it. I hope it helped you and I will see you in the next video.